Kevin here, the tech guy at Sizzix, here to talk to you about the precision base plate. First of all, I want to go over, we have a series of Sizzix machines that you can use this with. The Sizzix Big Kick, the Vagabond, Big Shot Pro, and the Big Shot. It is not recommended to use it in the Big Shot Plus. Okay, it is recommended to use the precision base plate with chemical etch dies, such as our thinlets. Right here, this top row shows you a very detailed, very intricate shapes that are within a design. So you could see that here, and below that is not recommended. Even though they're chemical etch dies, they're framelets, but because it's so simple, we do not use these. And show you exactly what we want to do in that placing the die. We use the multi-purpose platform that comes with the machine. We place our precision base plate on that facing up. Place your material using a intricate shaped die. Again, we want to place that. And here's a trick, uh, tip for you also, is in t anytime you have a die that's horizontal, that's wider, it is not really recommended to use it this way. The pressure distributes better if we replace it vertically. And again, we're placing a cutting pad that came with the machine on top of that. I'm going to run that through. So again, when I first did that, I started here. The next one I'll cut over here, and I'm just gonna work my way around the pad and intermittently be flipping it. Let me show you. That was 10 cuts using it the Sizzix tips way. And what I'd like to do is show you before placing this one what I was doing. You'll notice if you look down this line here that it's a little bit warping this way so that's the side I want to cut into. And again I'm purposely putting this off to the right so it's hitting that area. I'm placing that on there. So between each of my pieces, I look to see what side to cut on, and then I look to see um, how to straighten it out. Now what I'd like to do is to show you what happens if it's used just in the center. Brand new pad, and I'm going to cut that 10 times. Okay, now that we've completed both of our 10 cuts on brand new pads, I'm going to show you the difference between the first set, which is where we cut in random locations and flipping the pad. So we could see how relatively flat this is. Now I'm going to show you the second pad that we placed it just in the center, and you can see how much the pad warped. So in conclusion, the best way to use this is to always flip the pad and use it randomly over the pad.